Hello everyone, welcome to Achieve Asada. Many of the UGC net aspirants will feel mathematics that is unit number 5 of the UGC net paper 1 as difficult. So what to do with that? Let me share you some uh, important tips and tricks uh, with regard to this unit. First one, for the mathematical aptitude, please do not solve the questions or do not prepare like a SSC and banking examination because our examination is not that much. Mathematics is just a 5 questions will be asked from that portion. So for that, if you are preparing like SSC and uh, banking, it will not be having that much high scope and that much high level questions will not be asked. Next point number two is that you need to uh, restrict your spending time on too many topics coverage in this because mathematics is a too high area. Quantitative aptitude doesn't have any limit. Many number of topics are there like uh, division rules and uh, from the AJS blood relation as well as many other topics will also come under here. So when you are spending time on this now, you will actually, in order to complete all these units, you will take almost a 3 to 4 months. That much high area. So, do not spend too much time on all the topics coverage in the mathematical aptitude. Next point number 3 is that, for a best results of mathematical aptitude and easy mark scoring, easy, easy gaining of the marks, you can do one thing. Solve the previous year questions of the mathematics on topic wise basis, that is, if you take the 2021 Mathematical Aptitude, there are 25 shifts into 5 questions of each. So 25 into 5. That many number of questions? 20, 24, 24 shifts are 20, 20, 24 shifts are there. That is 24 into 5 questions. 2019 total 20 shifts, December and June put together. That is 20 into 5. So these are the number of questions. Even December 2018 also you can take it up. Because I am saying the uh, pattern of questions from the NTA onwards when the NTA started conducting exam now from that onwards the pattern of question so 2018 to 2020 if you can take up the questions on a topic wise basis when you are preparing you will understand the pattern of question how they are asking and from which topic the questions are being repeated that is blood relationship and a mixture and delegation ages time and distance even this boats and streams and pipes and systems Profit and loss, simple interest, ratio proportion, percentages. All these things you will get to know. Which are the topics which are repeatedly asking in the examination. If you can prepare for the PYQs and solving on your own. Separately maintain a register for that uh, notebook for the mathematical aptitude practice itself. So that it will yield a proper uh, pattern of question how you are preparing and uh, you will solve then and there. If you want to revise, you will open and revise it. That is the third one. Next, the fourth point which I wanted to say is that don't solve the PYQ set a stretch. Solve ta uh, 10 questions on daily basis. 10 to 20 questions, whichever possible. Take half an hour every day. Solve 10 questions every day so that it will be beneficial for you. Every day I am doing daily 5 questions. If you can add 5 more questions from your end, then it will be beneficial for you. Next is that learn the basic concept from each of the units suppose time and distance when the same direction what is a formula when it is opposite direction what is a formula what is average speed formula like that for every unit there is a basic formulas will be there basic concept basic formula bus enough from that only the questions will appear and from that only you need to answer so basic formulas and basic uh, things and when you don't understand the long cut do not go for the shortcuts i'm saying some people will directly apply the shortcuts without knowing the long cut. By shortcut will be only for a short memory. So if you if you know about a long cut, how to do it, then shortcut will be easy for you. Otherwise, it will be typical for you. It is up to you to uh, choose. And next one is that recent 2021 exam trend got changed. Because recent 2021 has given a lesson from the mathematical aptitude is that linking of the theoretical concepts. <clears throat> Statement number one is about the time and distance. They are giving the time and distance not the problem. Verification type of a theory and verification type of a problem. So this much speed and this much uh, uh, time is there and in this this much speed and time distance is this much. Like that answer only they are giving, answer also they are giving, question also they are giving. They are asking us to verify that statement is correct or not. And uh, statement number one is about time and distance. Statement number two is about some other average and all. Like that different two concepts are meshed in single question. They are giving in a statement form. And they are asking us to match the following also. So one side natural number and some other numbers and other side formulas they are giving. So the level of questions are changing. 
but every question within the range of basic concepts only. They are not going to in, into the advanced concepts of mathematical aptitude. Basic questions only, but they are hitting from the uh, asking point of view. The, the way of asking a question is uh, differing over here. Previously, they used to ask the questions directly. Now, questions are not direct. Questions are in a statement form, verification form, sequence form, as well as the match the following form. So, you need to get prepared for that. So these are the points if you can remember for the mathematical aptitude. I can assure you if not 5 by 5 questions correct, at least a 4 by 4 uh, or 3 by 5 you can get it correct. Which can give you instead of a 10 marks, you may get a 8 or 6 marks for sure. Rather than leaving entirely, better to get something out of it. That's what I can share it with you. If you like this, please do hit a like button and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Press the bell icon. Signing off, yours, educator Shiva Bhattala.